Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at the current energies for you in love and what what you can expect in the near future. As always, these readings are general, so take what applies to you. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. Sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. I also have information about personal readings, my decks, and other things that I offer that are tarot related my book tarot resources all that fun stuff is all in the description box all right so let's jump right in for virgo spirits angels guides messages please guidance for virgo regarding love what can virgo expect okay what can virgo expect in love what can virgo expect in love what can virgo expect what can they expect in love okay i'm getting a very specific message so we got cold shoulder hidden feeling hidden feelings and inner voice as like the energy cards here so i'm getting almost like someone is hiding their true feelings with like appearances almost like they're appearing like maybe things are better than they really are uh, this could also be someone trying to be very optimistic, despite the fact that there is a distance, a coldness, a silence. Um, let's see what else we get. For Virgo, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? For Virgo, what do we need to know regarding love? What's coming their way in February? 2022 for Virgo message so there's definitely something coming in even though I get the sense that uh, there's some uh, it's almost like when it comes to love there's like crickets Virgo <laughs> marriage number three despair the bottom of the deck okay so yeah I'm getting if, if, if some of you are interested in a specific person there are hidden feelings there um, feelings have not been expressed. There's probably not a lot of communication secrets here, a secret um, attraction. I'm also getting that that for some of you, there's someone that's interested in another person that they find fun, outgoing, lively. And that's because right now their life sucks or things just aren't very fun for them right now. That could be you, that could be your person. But it's almost like, you know, while you're in this energy, you're thinking about other things or um, trying to be optimistic perhaps or desiring to have more fun uh, desiring to not feel this way basically this is like the opposite of all these energies and then we have here marriage and message so um, some of you could be in a marriage or in a long-term commitment and there's some sort of communication regarding you know your partner uh, that you need to know a message that you receive Others of you could be learning that the person you're interested in is married or getting married, something like that. But I'm also getting like for a small number of you here, there is some sort of talking or interaction, like early interaction, like an early romance, you know, dating, hanging out, but that it leads to this, to marriage. So we'll see what we get with the tarot because I can see a lot of messages here already. Now, inner voice cold shoulder, hidden feelings, they all go together. Very similar energies there. Let me get some insight, please, Spirit, on what message you have for Virgo regarding love and relationships. What's going on for Virgos in love? What's going on for Virgos? So what can you expect? The current energies here, nine of wands, eight of pentacles, Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. Future energies I'll just put down here. We'll look at these when, it, when it's time. Overall energy, Ten of Cups. Okay. Fulfillment, happiness, happy endings. I mean, this is great energy. I feel like this is where you're headed, Virgo. You're headed towards this brightness, this joy, this happiness. Some of you, this is regarding a family unit. I'm trying to figure out why though. 
long-term happiness let's see what this ten of cups is about why is the ten of cups here what can you tell us spirit about the ten of cups and the overall energy for virgo why is the ten of cups here temperance and justice wow sagittarius and libra energy yeah it's like this is this is what you are being rewarded with or what you deserve this is right this is fair this is balanced this is meant for you is what i'm getting this ten of cups that's what you need to know regardless of whatever situation you're in right now this is where you are headed so why the nine of wands the nine of wands is like the wounded soldier they've been through a lot and now they are wounded but still defiant still willing to fight still um you know despite what they've been through there there's still a resistance here almost like a resilience so this could also be a card about being very guarded and protective over yourself why is the nine of wands here the nine of pentacles and the magician okay so someone i feel is um this again this energy of despite the difficulties now you're manifesting something better you are secure you are independent you are attracting something to you tell me about the, the magician the moon pisces energy why is the magician here what do we need to know about this magician yeah so someone's holding back that this is what Someone's holding back something. Yeah, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Secrets. This is that energy up here. The Moon and the Four of Pentacles. I think that there's someone that you admire or someone that admires you. And you're, for some reason, desiring that. That which you can see or observe or that which, I don't know, it's, it's almost like you're drawn to this energy this is making me think of this nine of pentacles but there's something off about this almost like you're hiding how you truly feel there or or flip this for your person maybe they're hiding how they truly feel for you even though they're and in the midst of all that they're manifesting you eight of pentacles this is a symbol for hard work effort focus why is the eight of pentacles here why is the eight of pentacles here the empress holy crap and the nine of wands again i feel like someone is working hard towards fulfillment abundance despite all that they've been through with the nine of wands we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck here Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Page of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Four of Cups and then the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Can I get one more for this Three of Cups reverse before I say what I am thinking here? Can we get the Three of Cups reverse? Can I get some more clarity about this Three of Cups reverse? Okay, this is basically somebody that's worried about their Page of Pentacles, their coin being rejected. This is a delayed reunion, a delayed coming together. I am not thinking of this as a third party. Um, unless, I mean, this Ten of Pentacles could be a marriage, a partnership here. Let's double check. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Nine of Swords. No, I think that this is just someone worried 
I think that what I'm looking at here is someone who is worried about rejection or the future outcome of something. Something that they've been working hard on. I feel like someone has kept their feelings to themselves because they don't think they'll be successful. And so they don't do anything about it. There are four of swords when they want to be an eight of wands. This could be you, Virgo, but I'm picking up that this could very well be your person is, you know, it's almost, uh, if you're in a marriage, then of course that's an obstacle that this person is feeling like Virgo's married. This is going to put a wrench on things. I'm worried that Virgo will stay married and I will lose my chance um, because this is someone that's worried about rejection here. So some of you could be in a third party. I don't pick that up strongly. I feel like this is someone who I almost get like they've been pining after you or, you know, despite the fact that things are not great because this person is the nine of wands They're showing up as a nine of wands. They're manifesting. They're working hard. They're willing to bring an offer. They're willing to do those things, but it's almost like there's something out of their control that keeps them from being completely open about their intentions, their feelings, etc. So where is all of this headed? What do we need to know here? The Queen of Wands reverse. The Hangman reverse. The Four of Wands. Interesting. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. Who is this Queen of Wands reverse? Because they tend to be very difficult people to deal with. This could be a fire sign. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? This is someone that is bit of an attention hog, upset, doesn't really think about the consequences of their actions. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? This could also be a symbol for someone who's not willing to be bold, not willing to go after what they want, doesn't have the courage or, you know, that drive. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. Six of Swords, Five of Swords. Oh, this is the fight. I feel like someone's leaving this Queen of Wands reverse and she's not happy. Seven of Swords, the world, and then there you are, Virgo with the Hermit. I feel like whoever this is, whether this is you or your person, whoever it is, they're going to be pissing someone off or upsetting someone with the choice that they make about this new beginning they want to have. Because make no mistake, someone's leaving with the Six of Swords. The Hangman Reverse is someone that's no longer stuck, sees things from a different perspective, or perhaps they can't see something. Let's see. Tell me about the Hangman Reverse. Why is the Hangman Reverse? The Lovers, again, Gemini Energy. Why is the Hangman Reverse? Eight of Wands, okay. I get one more for this hangman reverse. Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, there's a partnership I feel that's ending. I don't know if it's yours or this other person. Someone's leaving their partner or leaving home. Tell me about the Four of Wands. And it's because they want to have a Ten of Cups, a Four of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Wands. What's this about? Seven of Wands and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like someone's fighting for love, fighting back um, against anything that keeps them from this Page of Cups, perhaps. I'm also sensing, okay, can I get one more for the Four of Wands? Ten of Wands. I think, oh, and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think that this could be this Nine of Wands. This King of Cups is in love. Yeah, the star. I think someone's going to be opening up. I feel like this is someone that could be revealing their feelings with this Page of Cups. I think, I think a relationship is ending and the other person is thinking this is my chance. That relationship has ended. I have an opportunity. I've been waiting for this opportunity because I've been pining for this person for so long. And even if they reject me, at least I've, I'm trying here with my page of cups. 
and I can like move on with my life. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And someone's upset that this is happening. This Queen of Wands. Tell me about temperance and justice. Let me get one more for temperance and justice. What do we need to know about temperance and justice? Spirit? What do we need to know? The world. Yeah, this is all meant to happen here. And there's the sun. This is you're you're meant to have this Virgo, this new cycle, whether you start it, you initiate it, you know, depending on where you fit in this story. I feel like you're 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 meant to have this world like it's for you. And this person that has been pining after this ideal because I feel like someone has been pining after the person that they feel they should have been with or they feel that they deserve to be with you know I feel like they're finally thinking I can have what I deserve after everything I've been through so let's get some insight into your person's energy the person that is interested in you Virgo or the person that you're dealing with what do we need to know about their energies towards you? Tell me about this person that Virgo is dealing with. What are their energies, intentions towards Virgo? I often wonder to myself if it's too late. Yeah, this is someone that's been waiting for you, pining after you, and is worried about rejection. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Yeah, this is somebody that has been interested in you or vice versa. And they want to come forward, but maybe they wonder if it's too late. I think deep down they have optimism and hope that this will happen, but they don't know for sure. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this uh, love reading. If it resonated for you, if you enjoyed the reading, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already both of those things really help my channel grow it just tells YouTube that you like my content um, thank you so much to everyone that is so kind in the comments and is so supportive with their likes, shares and subscribes uh, it'll be linked in the description box as always um, thank you so much Virgo and I will see you all in another video very soon take care